This is straight from Amazon's website, enable or disable Amazon Sidewalk for your account. So I'm going to go into there and follow directions, click on more in Alexa app. I'm writing the Alexa app, click more, it brings up the screen. Then it says click on account settings or settings, <laughs> more than settings. From settings, I can go into account settings here in the top. Finally, I should see Amazon Sidewalk. So mine doesn't show Amazon Sidewalk. That's fine because go back here to the list of supported Amazon Sidewalk devices. Lists all the Amazon Sidewalk devices. And mine isn't included. All I have in, is an Echo Dot second generation. This requires Echo Dot third generation or newer. But uh, the reason why I'm making this video is some people have been saying that they don't even see it. So um, I guess uh, it'd be interesting to find out more information about this. Uh, possibly once you uh, opt out, it can possibly disappear. That's one of my guesses, but I don't have an enabled device. Actually, I sort of do, but I can't test it for now. Um, so if you run into this problem where you uh, do have one of these listed enabled devices for sidewalk sharing, sidewalk bridge, but when you go into the directions that they tell you to, you click on more, then settings, then account settings, and you don't see Amazon Sidewalk per the instructions over here. This is Amazon's old own sidewalk information website. If you don't see it, then you could try contacting Amazon asking why it's broken because technically it should show up. They, they did, a, in my opinion, a bad job of uh, posting this setting or opt-in setting or whatever, opt-out. I don't know what you call it. it it's not well implemented at all. And so there's a chance that it could have disappeared at some point uh, or it never even showed up, even though you have an enabled device. I So I have two theories. I, I've already mentioned one is that once you disable the setting on all of your devices, it kind of disappears possibly. And so you're probably going like, how do I get to reappear if I want to opt in uh, one of these days? Uh, could be that uh, if you factory reset the device and try to set it up again, it might, it'll it ask you while setting up if you want to enable sidewalk settings. Um, so that's one of my guesses. My other guess is the device that you own, the Amazon uh, sidewalk device that you own, possibly could be uh, not updated to enable this feature. So it needs some type of firmware update to properly enable it. And once you do the update on the device software side, it will somehow enable this setting in Alexa. So that's my guess. There is a third option, which is you're running a really old version of Alexa app. And so maybe it doesn't have that, that setting on there. So three, three possible uh, uh, reasons for that uh, Alexa setting for sidewalk not appearing, Amazon sidewalk not appearing. One is you turned it off and it for some reason the setting doesn't show anymore. That's what it's kind of seemed because uh, someone from my, uh, what do you call it, YouTube channel mentioned that. Another could be that, uh, you need a software update. Or number three, I already forgot, but I'll, I'll write it down my YouTube channel, and or you could rewatch it. But uh, I think this is a problem on Amazon side, and it's really worrying a lot of people. I think a lot of people didn't want to enable Sidewalk Bridge. Now I know some people say it's only five hundred megabytes, and it's not that much data. You can see right below over here, it's only eighty kilobytes per second, or five hundred megabytes a month. But I mean, once you opt in. Once you're opted in, uh, who's to say they'll change the, the requirements? Could be a gigabyte 
or you know yeah a gigabyte next month it's two gigabytes I mean uh, it's they can always change the user agreement according to their needs so um, if you're like me a little paranoid you opted out so good luck let me know what goes on with the setting thingy I, I think I think once you turn it off in order to get that setting back on you'll have to factory reset your device that's my guess so forgot yeah factory setting the device might make the setting reappear when you set it up again or you need a software update that was the third one so good luck